Jake, Jake, Brandon, are you receiving? Over. Well, welcome to the video. Um, as you can see, we're out on a sib today and I am behind the engine. Uh, yes, I have succumbed to buying a sib. I've said it in a few recent other videos. I will still be using my kayak uh, lots and lots, but this is really just to get other people out here. Today is more of a test today. We've come out of Simpson Marine Harbour. You pay 10 pound, you launch your sib. It's got a nice concrete slip, although we've done it at low tide and I've got silt all over my legs. Rookie error, but we're gonna go and try for some bass and see what we can do. So uh, you're along for the journey. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, let's go. Yep, yeah, I think I was in there. Yeah, in already. So we're trying to get some mackerel for the fresh, uh, for, the, um, for the wreck. We've got a full string of mackerel here. Absolutely, look at them. Woo! Instantly in. A little bit of water, keep them cold and fresh. Lost a few, but there you go, they're there. Right, so we've just we've sort of switched the engine off. Uh, we just had a few mackerel, a few dropped off. Oh, you got a Gernard. Gernard. Sean Fisherman UK over there has just caught a nice Gernard. And uh, I'm gonna try and get a few more mackerel um, for the reef, uh, wreck, sorry, that we're gonna go on to a bit later on. Um, yeah, we'll see how we got. We got Kev over there, the man who got me into this expensive hobby. Um, I don't know what the camera angle's gonna be like today because I've got no one filming me. Um, I don't normally, um, and it's a new way of filming for me. So um, it might just take a little while for me to get used to the angles on the boat. So the first few videos might be a little bit substandard, but we're gonna, um, we're gonna see how we get on. Now, now, obviously, I'm quite new to all this sib fishing, but one thing I have picked up just by going out uh, a few times is what's really important is you put your hooks away straight away. Whereas on the kayak, that trace there, I might just put on the side, down the, you know, underneath my foot or whatever. Um, it's really important just never leave your traces out because you've got an inflatable boat, and the last thing you want to be doing is putting holes in it. It's not easy to put a hole in it, I don't think. Like, it's really thick material, but um, either way, I don't want to risk it, and I'd much rather. Um, have all the hooks on the reels uh, tucked away safely. So, um, who's ringing me now? That's the other half ringing me. Probably wondering if I'm having a nice day. Well, I've already caught fish, so that's a plus. I'll give her a ring a little bit later. Maybe give her a FaceTime. She said she was busy, busy, busy with work today. I keep putting me, uh, leaning my arm against the radio and it's making a woo noise. All right, let's pop all that away. So yeah, keep your hooks away from your boat, that's all I can say. Right, a couple more mackerel and then we're gonna try and head out to the uh, Brisbane uh, wreck. Another mackerel boys and girls. Ah, she's on, good. I decided to stand up in the sib because then you get more, um, when you're yanking it up and down, you get more free, free fall over the water. Um, so what I mean by that is I'm dropping it down now. Uh, I think we're in about 50 foot crazy as it's low tide. I'll let that go to the bottom. So if I was sitting down I might only have like an, an arch of maybe three foot I'll be bringing up maybe three foot but here I can really pull it up and down. Try and catch a bit more. So the wreck that we were going to go to, um, there's, a, there's a gentleman already on it, uh, common courtesy really. Uh, we're just going to go somewhere else. Uh, I think he said it's okay, but uh, I'm not going to get right in front of him with a way with someone else. So uh, we're going to try somewhere else and uh, maybe we'll pop back there a little bit later on. Here boys, loads of mackerel jumping out here. Just trying to somehow get the shoal. Might be back. Oh, we're in. Yeah, oh, we're, we're in. We're in, boys, we're in. Oh, no, did it come off? No, it didn't. No, it's still on. Still on. I don't know yet, I think they're back for all, but they sounded a bit big. 
So there might be bass topping on the surface, but I've got mackerel here. There we go, I've got a string of three. Big mackerel, boys, big mackerel. Lovely. Just put me uh, cowboy hat on, um, just because the sun's pretty vicious today. I've got a long sleeve, um, short, uh, thin top on. Um, I like to catch in the sun, but um, it's lethal when it's reflecting off the water, it really is. So, um, lots of sun cream. And, uh, yeah. Right, let's try and get some fish. There you go, big eight o hook there, and the full mackerel gonna go down, just to see what's down there. If there's a massive bass down there, it just might well eat it. It's not quite live, but it's, it's flicking, so you never know. Right, drop her down there and see what we can get. Just put a little, uh, yeah, we're in. What I did is put a little um, yellow um, lead head on, which I've seen them fishing off the reefs with them, and they're really good for cod and pollock. Um, and, I, and I've literally, I've dropped this and straight away, it's gone. So I wonder, it's, I don't know what it's fighting like. It might be a, ah, we've got two, two, two pol uh, pouting. Two pouts. And they weren't on that yellow thing. They were just over the, they were just over it. I'm gonna keep one for, one pout, I'm gonna keep one for baits, and I'm gonna put one back. I could keep them all for bait, for shore fishing, but they're a little large, really. All right, straight back down. So if anyone's interested in um, my setup, I'm gonna do a little, um, Sib series, uh, buyer's guide kind of thing, but for, for that, um, I'm gonna need to get a bit more experience. So I'm not gonna quite do that yet. I'm just gonna um, learn a bit about it and then uh, possibly get a few guys on board doing the series. Um, but uh, I'm on an XL 335, so it's uh, three meters 35 uh, lengthwise. Um, Sibs, I think weighs 55 kilos, so it's not too bad. We've got a Tatsu 9.8 on the back, four stroke engine. Um, doesn't use much fuel. It's got a 12, 12 litre tank, and I've only got 12 litres today, but because I'm out with two other people. Um, if needs be, we can top it up. But we're not doing loads of drifting with the engine on, so hopefully um, that what I've got will be absolutely fine. But uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with it, actually. I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's nice just to be able to get that bit further out a little bit quicker, and um, it'd be really nice to bring a few mates out as well fishing. Not loads of room, but um, there's a few things I, I want to do differently already, uh, space-wise, so I can really get it get it tight but yeah i've had some mackerel had some pout so yeah it's all a bit of fun here you go lads here you go live mackerel rod i'm just tying up the gear i'm just gonna lift into it in a minute we'll see what it is yeah yeah here we go oh it come off no. oh that was gutting that was a I was taking line out on the spool and I just felt it and it went BAM! Struck into it. Uh, that was a big fish. Big, big fish. I don't think it was a bass because it wasn't really shaking its head, so it might have been a conga. Um, could have been a ray, but it is what it is. No, it didn't snap, it just pulled the hook. But I have got a hundred pound wire on it, so that's probably why. It's not ideal. Oh well. well uh, it's, it's back down there with another mackerel. Um, I've only got three more mackerel, um, so I probably should stick some sabikis on this and um, Try and get some more really but um, that's what i'm going to be doing a little bit of today it could have been a big ray to be honest and rays you know big 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 um mackerel like that and just one uh, one big eight o hook it's not ideal really but um it's not really what i'm after or after big bass so we'll, we'll it's back down there and we'll see if we can get it so what i'm doing now is i'm just repositioning the boat just so it goes over the wreck um, we're going to go around it and drift into it what you don't want to be doing is going over a wreck um with the engine because it does spook the fish So we're just gonna go round and then we're gonna drift into it. Right, so we gave um, that uh, wreck a go and it was a bit dead really, just a few pout on it. We're gonna go try uh, a different place now for some bass. So uh, I'm gonna put my heel to the steel or hand to the steel and, uh, and get going. Probably be there in about 10 minutes. So the, uh, the bass fishing wasn't that great, the water's a bit murky. Um, we're gonna go head back out 
to one of the wrecks near uh, New Haven now. I'm just having a few little grapes and then we're going to set off. So, fishing hasn't been prolific today uh, so far, but it's been nice just to get out, test the boat, and make sure it all works. And um, now I know things which I might change. And But actually, I'm very happy with it. It's, um, yeah, it's good. And it, when I started this morning, the sea would have been flat for a kayak. And now it's a bit choppy for a kayak. Um, it wouldn't be very comfortable. So actually, we're, 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 we're fishing still now because we've got a sieve. With the kayak, I probably would have gone in. So yeah, that's why we got it. And um, doing its job at the moment. So I'm gonna have a couple more of these. And I'm gonna go head out to another wreck. Right, so we're um, about three miles off. We're about to head home now. Um, we're just gonna do our last last sprint home. And if we see any mackerel shoals, we might stop off and give it a go. But um, thank you for watching the video. Sorry there wasn't too many fish, but uh, join us next time and hopefully there'll be some more. Cheers.